Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, Lionel here, and today I have a um, a couple of reviews for you. Uh, the first is going to be um, uh, from the house of uh, from the house of Hermes, and it's the Hermescence line. And sorry about that, I dropped it. Um, and this is you know a, a atomizer from Sally's. It's actually pretty nice. It holds about. Um, Sorry about that. It holds about six or um, seven mils, somewhere around seven mL, um, and the sprayer is really, really nice. I mean, if you if you can see that, uh, let's see. So anyway, pretty nice sprayer um, uh, that you get from Sally's, and they're like two dollars for like two of them, and um, pretty nice cap. Uh, they sell pretty nice. You got to tape them if you're mailing them. But anyway, they, they man, they're they're pretty nice, man. Uh, the sprayers are ter are terrific on them. So um, anyway, that's it on the sprayer and Sally's. Um, I do recommend if you're looking for a decent atom a plastic atomizer. You know, you don't have to go far. I mean, again, like I said, two dollars for two of them holds about seven mils. Perfect. So anyway, it is from the house of Hermes. Uh, it is the Hermes. The Hermes, the Hermes Essence line, and it is Vetiver Tonka. Um, I don't know if I reviewed this the last time, but I'm going to review it again. Um, so, anyway, what you have in the top is Vetiver uh, Sandalwood, um, Tonka, Tobacco, and Lily in the Valley, and looks like in the base you have Hazelnut and Praline. So, you know, Praline is little dessert things. Um, what I think about Vetiver Tonka. So first, let me talk about. Um, I tried a few of um, a, a few of this um, Hermescence line, um, and I was just I was never impressed with it. Uh, to be honest, um, I know a lot of people praise them. I know a lot of people jumped on some bandwagons with. Uh, you know, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but uh, Ambre uh, Nargali, Nar Nar Nargili, whatever, however it's pronounced. Um, uh, the ombre, the the baked apple cinnamon pie dessert uh, type of fragrance, um, which was okay. Um, but you know, uh, my re my thoughts were what everybody who I asked who smelled it, and it was like you smell like a like a Christmas basket, or uh, you smell like um, uh, like a dessert from Chili's or some one of those hot apple pies, or you smell like you work at Luby's or something. So those were kind of the responses I got from, it. and I felt the same way when I wore it. Uh, I was never comfortable wearing that fragrance. Um, I know a lot of people heap praises on it, and you know, with, that's the beauty of this. Um, the beauty of this uh, YouTube community is that um, we have opinions, and you know, they, they all work out. I just saw, uh, I just replied to our uh, fragrance brothers, uh, must reverence your. You know, he talked about the cloves and wanted to go take a shower, and I absolutely love that fragrance, top to bottom. So, um, I don't think I reviewed Musk Revisure. Oh, you know what? I think I did. I think I reviewed that one. Anyway, I gave that one five out of five. It's definitely one of the top five things I've smelled. So, um, again, we have opinions, and here's my opinion on Vetiver Tonka. Um, you get a lot of Vetiver, and you get a lot of Tonka. Uh, none of these other notes. Well, the hazelnut may make the uh the the vetiver or the tonka kind of a nutty type of uh, I think it may be the praline with the hazelnut there's a little sweetness from the hazelnut um and there's some nuttiness maybe caused by the praline but it, the nuttiness could come from the vetiver I, I really don't know um so you have vetiver you have tonka you have some sweetness from the hazelnut and some maybe some some uh some sweetness from the hazelnut and maybe some nuttiness from the praline um I don't get much sandalwood uh, as it relates to other sandalwood type of fragrances where I mean sandalwood is just is a dominant woodsy note if if you really know it um um I don't get much of any I don't get much of any tobacco uh, I don't I don't know where that is and maybe there are some floors from the lily in the valley but it it, it plays in the background so much I mean you think it would be the uh you know the the drummer from Earth Wind and Fire who I don't know if anybody really knows that guy's name unless they're like just a dedicated Earth Wind and Fire fan so um uh so I get a lot of vetiver and I get some some Tonka and some sweetness um so let's talk about projection um the projection is moderate 
um, you know, not great, uh, not bad, just decent. Uh, I get, you know, decent projection. Um, longevity is, is pretty good. Um, it, it lasts about, uh, I would say, eight hours, maybe a little longer, but it, it, it's such a skin scent that, um, I mean, someone literally has to almost nibble on your neck to smell it. Um, but for the first few hours, I mean, it, it, it's a moderate projection. Um, and, I, and I do think it lasts quite some time, but uh, you know, it's strictly a vetiver, skin scent, tonka type of scent, Dan. Um, um, opinions of it was, smells okay. Um, I don't really get a lot out of it. Um, what else? What was the other one? Oh, that's, you know, it's, that's cool. Uh, you know, not the best thing I've smelled, but, you know, it's, it's not bad. Um, those are the type of responses I got from people, and I had to go ask for them. And typically, you know, again, sort of like makers, the people on my job know that I, uh, I'm i in the fragrance. And so when I wear something they like, they're very vocal about it. When I wear something they don't like, they're very vocal about it. And if I don't come around, they usually come find me and say, oh, what's the scent of the day today? So, you know, just kind of that. It's, it's a fun group. I got a bunch of ladies that I work with. Um, so uh, they make it a bit fun for me. Um, uh, you know, I had to ask. I had to get close uh, with this one. They couldn't really smell it. So it's, there's nothing distinct about it that that stands out. So I mean, nobody would really uh, smell you unless you really ask, maybe, or someone who maybe is just really into you, and you know, maybe you kind of give off an aura. So it's 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 a it's a scent that um um, um you know it's, it's not a go get you. It's not definitely not a panty dropper type of scent unless again that somebody's just really into you and then they smell it on you. So it may just uh, uh you know. Uh, make their nose more more gullible, as I would say. Um, to me, the scent there's nothing special about it. Uh, you get vetiver, you get tonka. If you're a vetiver lover, you may like it because it it is a you know a, a different take on vetiver as relates to anything else. Um, one of my best takes on vetiver I think is found in uh, 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 Rose Thirty One, and um, definitely uh, Terre d'Air Mess. Uh, this one the the it's it's a bit like again a bit sweet, a bit nutty. Um, not as sharp or not as, uh, uh, you know, fresh or something. There's something in those other ones that kind of gives it, I, I, can, I can tell a vetiver. I mean, I tell a vetiver here, this is a vetiver scent, but um, uh, it's just slightly different to me. So um, overall, I mean, I would probably, uh, if I add price point to this, I would probably get this about a two out of five for me. Um, this is definitely, uh, it was a decent try. I mean, I got on the, uh, you know, I called uh, Hermes and uh, or emailed them, and they sent me a couple of samples of this one and, and uh, the Ombre scent. So um, um, I wasn't impressed with either of those. Uh, I smelled the other one, something with a P, and wasn't impressed with that one either. I know a lot of people made noise about it. So anyway, um, good scent. I mean, it's a mature scent. It's definitely a nice scent. I mean, if you're wearing a shirt and tie, you're in a business meeting, um, you're going to meet some sales clients. Um, it's definitely a, um, you know, it's a, mature, it's a nice, maturely manly scent. Definitely not a kid scent by any stretch. Um, uh, you know, just a classy scent. It is a very classy scent. Just nothing I would invest in by any stretch. So um, overall, again, I give it a three out of five. Moderate projection, um, above average uh, longevity. Uh, silage is moderate to a little below moderate. Um, um, you know, I, I think it's a very good universal sound that you can wear it in the summer, you can wear it in the winter. I think it could be worn year round. It's very universal. Um, and, you know, just a, it's a nice scent, but. Once you throw the once you drop the price in there, I mean it, it just takes it back row. If this was something I found at Sephora for maybe fifty dollars, you know, for one point seven, I would I would probably say it was a nice scent, it was a nice pickup, but the price point for this makes this uh inaccessible for me, makes it something I wouldn't even consider buying. So that said I'm already at about ten minutes. Uh better talk of peace.